Hey guys, Spartan here, and first off, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. I know you have a lot of choices of, uh, Survivors of the Void content, so I'm glad that you decided to check out me. So, new DLC just, uh, came out, and before I start doing, like, gimmick builds and, I don't know, squid turret shenanigans or some garbage like that, and making, like, the worst items viable, um, I'm just gonna do some casual playthrough. Uh, obviously going to be playing as, a uh, Railgunner, because that's literally what everyone is going to do. So, uh, yep, let's just start off. I am going to be playing on Rainstorm because, of course, this is my first time playing this Survivor. Also, there's going to be new maps, obviously. So, let's start. Uh, okay, so, left click is the tracking round. This is the sniper shot. Okay, I get the picture. Alright, just got to quick scope everyone. But I want a no-scope! Eh. Can you reload in this form? Okay, you cannot reload in the sniping form. Good to know. I think there's an achievement for hitting a... 30 losers... with the... extra power in a row. But yeah, I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm just gonna walk around. I didn't... check sniper's uh, stats. That's personal shield generator. Fine. I should check how well the base bullets do. They're fine. And considering you don't hold a certain amount of them. Why not? Alright, I'm gonna wait for my shield to regenerate and then hit the Shrine of Pain because... Efficiency. Man, that's some... that's some homing there. Oh, homie! No. But yeah, how are you doing? I haven't uploaded in two weeks. Actually, no, that's not true. I uploaded yesterday. Never mind. I haven't uploaded aside from yesterday. Or was that today? I don't know. Time zones are weird. So, uh, new item. I'm obviously going to be picking as many new items as possible. This is Roll of Pennies. Gain gold on taking damage. How much gold? One. Just one, really. And uh, that probably scales with time. I don't know exactly how that would work, considering that... Okay, there's Mocha. New item. Slightly increased attack speed and movement speed. I'm guessing uh, by roughly 10% each, if I had to wager a guess. I don't know, though. Let's uh, kill the losers. Where's the stone golem? Oh, direct hit. Finish him off with base bullets. Okay. So, I like how the way uh, Sniper plays already. I haven't even tried out the other parts. Okay, that's a fine thing. I... I am a main of Junkrat back when I played Overwatch, which I, I really don't do anymore. But, I am relatively used to mine jumping, except, however, of course, in that game it's like a based trajectory. Haha, <laughs> based. That's a new thing. What is that? Void Cradle for 50% HP. Yeah, sure, why not? Hang on, I think I heard a new enemy. Yeah, it's this thing. Damn, a Higo monster. Yes. Good. It's a shame I don't have my, uh, mods so I can have Germa say GAS every time I get a kill. But, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So considering that this is kind of a, uh, larger area, I'm guessing there's gonna be more items. Which, I guess, incentivizes stuff. So what does this do? Gives an item- Oh, it's Wongus! Ah! Okay. So I was wondering why, uh, the- the person who, like, when- Fucking Hapu Games released the thing, they shot these things immediately. And that's why, because they turn into enemies. Good to know. I need to take note that I don't need to, uh, charge this up, as... That's what you had to do in Risk of Rain 1. Was that more of these void baddies? But yeah, I can sprint to gain, uh... HP now. Grog's Opus, that's a fine item. Okay, so those are corrupt enemies. Good to know. And it blocks shots. Okay. I will have to deal with that sometime later then. God damn it, I want to shoot straight, but the homing won't let me. Homie, please. Also, they seem to not travel that far, which is a bit of a shame. Eh. This is probably an easter egg of some sort, like that door opens up, or some garbage. Or maybe that's just a different le level layout. I haven't used the supercharged shot because I don't feel like uh, crippling myself currently. Yeah, this is a rather huge area. 
I know, people stress out, you gotta do it in the first five minutes, blah 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 blah. But, I'm having fun. Okay, let's try it out. Not bad. That collateral shot. Maybe I should uh, turn down my sensitivity. The fact that you cannot reload while scoped in is a bit uh, annoying. Oh, a Shrine of the Mountain you shouldn't have. Obviously, I'm going to hit that. Mm. I honestly think I would have enough money after uh, beating the boss to buy everything, so I'll just hit the teleporter now. Grag's Opus is obviously not going to be very useful in a character such as this. Okay. Let's uh, try and line up the Beetle Queens. Where are their weak spots? On their heads. Okay. I'm just going to commit the cardinal, sni cardinal sin of uh, stepping out of the teleporter range real quick. Oh, it goes away after a while. That is uh, interesting. That's a bit of a shame. I really wanted to uh, take my time to line up a proper shot. But I guess it doesn't throw me into the, the cooldown phase, at least. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I missed. It seems there's a bit of delay upon uh, activating the damn thing. The, the heavy shot. Oh well. I should probably stop effing around and actually shooting the damn boss. I can't tell where bloody anything is though, because there's too many enemies. Yeah, you do need to wait about half a second before it actually fires, that's a sh bit of a shame. Need to get used to that. I'd consider it being... Uh, well, you'd think it would be like you press the button it goes immediately. That's something that did not uh, get shown in the original. Ukulele. Really nice. Alright. Uh, let's just go for another collateral shot. Pressing that button... Like, uh... Just cancels your sprint for some reason. You'd think that that would be one of the ones that doesn't do that, considering it's not actually an attack. I mean, I guess it's not a mobility item. Did I miss? Oh, whatever. I'll go for the achievements later. Okay, there's that thing that I refused to kill before. Coming back to haunt me. Alright. Let's uh, try and skedaddle skadoodle out of this area as fast as possible after grabbing all the loot. Because I am, of course, a loot launderer, as they call it. Nobody says that, but let's pretend they do. There's probably some cool stuff around here. But it seems that none of it spawned around here. It's just a... Uh... Well, I guess if you decide to balance this around, like having a huge area, but only having a certain segment of the area, be actually populated with items. Okay, I know what this item is. It's a, it's an opal. Reduce damage the first time you're hit. This is basically to prevent you from being one-shot by Mithrix, I guess. Those are good crits. Right, we've got to remember to use the mine. But yeah, this is the uh, the area they teased. I don't think there's anything else here, which is a bit of a shame. But okay, there's just this is just like a sewer plant, the ancient aqueducts, the ancient Japanese eye beams that Hopu uses to uh, code their game. But yeah, I took like no damage from that fall. Alright, let's progress. Ten minutes stage one. You know what that means. Wait, hang on, I've got a money launder. Yeah, save two dollars! I didn't see any uh, newt altars there. That's fine. It's good that I'm getting a new stage, at least. I'm just not gonna bother with the Shrine of Chance. I hate Shrine of Chance. Everyone knows this. I think half the people in the whole world hate Shrine of Chance, and the other half just tolerates it. God damn, he's got moves. This is one of the reasons why I could never play any snipers in video games. It's because I can't aim. Now for my favorite part of Risk of Rain 2, the uh, waiting for enemies to spawn so I can kill stuff. Oh wow, a lunar cleansing pool. Really? We're going there. Like, these things never spawn when I want them to. Oh god, it's a rat! Kill! 
It moves really fast. Damn. I'm guessing I need to snipe these before they get too close. Excuse me. Like, my aim isn't terrible as long as enemies stay out of my face. I say as I proceed to miss. I mean, how hard is it to headshot when the in enemy's, like, entire hitbox is the headshot hitbox? Oh well. By the way, I'm recording this at, like, 2.30am. So, uh... Yeah, thanks for releasing uh, at 2am. I, I said I was going to ignore it, and I didn't. I have the, the fucking attention span of an ant. This is me giving advice and then actively ignoring the advice and suffering because I don't actually take my advice into consideration. Use me as an example. But yeah, I need to unlock a purple commando. First person to call him a lean commando gets a slap in the face for being unfunny. I wish, uh... You know what, maybe I should just turn the music up when I want to listen to it. This is gonna go right off the edge, isn't it? No, okay. If you're wondering why I'm taking repulsion armor plating, it's because it's a good item. Screw what your opinion says. Alright, uh, Rusty Lockbox, can we get a new, uh, red item? Yeah, okay, it's just an alien head. I think I'd just rather hit fire with that, honestly. I mean, the damage it does is overkill enough. I'm really taking a, uh... I watch him call it a banner from a tri shop terminal. You know it's bad when that happens. Okay, Crowbot. Classic Sniper. Sniper always was one of my favorites in Risk of Rain 1. Mostly just because of big number. I wonder what these ancient crystals are. Reminds me of a... Reminds me of something. What was it? I don't know. I need enemies to spawn, however. Does that actually count as a hit? No. Also, can I proc a roll of pennies off full damage? No, I can't. Okay. Well, if it doesn't proc off full damage, it most likely does not proc off uh, Hellfire Tincture. That would be too easy. And odds are it doesn't work when your engineer turrets get hit. I was originally going to be like, okay, I'm gonna start with engineer. But considering that, I mean, Railgunner is unlocked by default, I decided, you know what, might as well kick it. Why do I, why do I click immediately when I'm unscoping? That is from a different game, I forget which one it is. Then again, obviously, first time playing, uh, Sniper, Railgunner, whatever you want to call her. Uh, need to get used to it. I haven't shot so many rats to death since Noida. Uh, I don't think I want more of these opals, but considering that tri shop had two opals and one... I, I, I wasn't even paying attention to what it was. It was bad. Okay, that thing needs to land before it starts charging. I will take that into consideration and then promptly ignore it. Yeah. Obvious crowbar character obviously does good with obvious crowbar synergy. Sticky bomb. Maybe I should explore until I find a newt altar. I do want to take a look at stuff. That's a launch pad of sorts. It takes me up here. Okay. So let's see if I can use this to uh, cushion my fall. Yeah. Okay, you can do that. That's some uh, elite sniper tech. Mind jumping. If Overwatch had full damage, I'd probably be really good at that, but considering it doesn't, I have no practice. Could you please kindly fuck off Lemurians? I'll let the fire kill the rest of those. I do like gasoline as a, a, an AoE, sk not skill, item. Because it, it does the job. So what's over here? I wish I had a double jump so I had better mobility. There's an, there's an obelisk. Non-obelix. No, this isn't a asterix. Yeah, it wasn't a crit hit, but it was close enough. There's gotta be something hidden around here. And it turns out you have to uh, smack each of these crystal green eggs in order to gain, uh, I don't know, something. That's another red item. That's great. 
probably doesn't work well with the uh, the E skill. And I mean, obviously has negative synergy considering the fact that my cooldowns are already reduced. Thanks to a uh, item of sorts. Alien head. I would have rather had like anything else, honestly. Obviously, I want to check... Is that another one? Did they either buff the occurrence rate of these things, or this is just going to go off the cliff, isn't it? Yeah. I figured it would. That's kind of a par for the course, though. And since I said par for the course, that means we instantly have to start playing golf. Where'd those enemies go? Guess they just didn't arrive. Well, I can't find a newt altar anywhere. They're probably well hidden. And then, like, in about two days, we'll... Someone will, like, publish something to the subreddit that says, Oh, hey, here's the location of all of them. And I'll be like, yeah, sounds good. I should be using Gorag's Opus for the move speed. But, here's the thing. I don't really care. Really? Another Beetle Queen? Eat ass. God damn it, this... This waiting to fire thing is going to screw me up majorly. Also, Clay Templar, please... Actually, you know what? I don't care about the Clay Templar. I have Roll of Pennies to generate money anyway. Yeah, I'm like back at full health. Ooh, direct hit. What is that? It's another Clay thing. Oh well, whatever it happened, whatever it was, it uh, propped a sticky bomb on it. And there's Beetle's Gland. One of the worst items in the game. I hate Beetle's Gland. Mostly because it stops my own shots from going through. You wanna know why the friends, like your allies in Kingdom Hearts, suck? It's because they can't jump. And this is the same issue with this dude. Except this dude can't even hit flying enemies at all. Considering this DLC is full of them, it's gonna be a real issue. At least I can. At least you can, with this, just see where every enemy is on the map, regardless of position. Also, my god, ukulele. Heavily carrying this run. Whatever. Honestly, I don't care about getting hit. Medkit will, uh, save me. I will gain a pittance over time. I predict that Sniper's gonna be really fun in multiplayer. Just because, uh, you'll have, like, a, I don't know, a character that gets up close and personal. And then you'll have Sniper who's allowed to freely do whatever she wants in the back ranks. In the back. Yes. I'd like a normal stage, actually, this time. But considering that there's, like, three, uh... Hmm? Oh, never mind, I'm reading... There's, like, some weird overlay over the text in the thing. But, yeah, considering there's more... Actually, no, there's about the same amount of stage 3s. There's a different number of stage 4s. What are those? They've got that item that blocks hits. Down with you. Excuse me, I believe that sphere of giant void enemy did not exist last time I played this uh, map. Let's take a closer look, shall we, before we even enter it. Well, whatever it is, I uh, can't really stop it. Is that like void health or something? I'm guessing if I uh, just enter there, it'll start doing whatever it is. Please go away. <laughs> I'm just speculating here. I have like no knowledge of this. He is unaware. You can like look back at this video in about a month's time and it'll be like, oh my god, he's, he's such an idiot another one of these things. Void cradles. You know what? Kill whatever those things are. This looks like a fuel cell. Yeah. Add an extra charge of your special skill. My special skill? I... You'd think that would be equipment, but no. Okay, I guess I have another one of these. Actually has synergy with uh, alien head and uh, brain stalks. Okay, so it seems that these voidy enemies attack all enemies, and if they get a kill, 
then they will corrupt whatever. Oh, yep, gotta reload. Almost forgot, that's a thing. I hope there's a corrupted version of Void Crystal, or Focus Crystal. You know what, it would be called Void Crystal. And uh, what it does should be deal damage to enemies further away. What is this bug? I squash you flat. Alright, time to enter the void zone. This truly is. You truly are the survivors of the void. Does that print that? There's another one of these void pods. Oh god, that's damage over time. Jesus. I probably shouldn't be here. Can I hurt this? No, I seemingly cannot do anything to it. Well... That is a definite, uh, I am unaware thing. What the hell? I can interact with that? Is that my own beetle guard that died? No, beetle guards can actually spawn here. I can buy whatever this is. That do something? Damn, I'd like to actually be able to see. What does this actually say? Crack this sucker open. Okay, a bit, a bit crude in the wording, but I'll accept it. Maybe if I open all of them, it'll do something. I'm probably going to die anyway, though. Even the Wungus can't save me. Hmm. What's that? A printer for? I don't care whatever it is. Well, I can't use it. What is this thing? Why can't I destroy it? There's got to be something to do with this. I have no idea. Sprint out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely clueless. I'll figure it out later. You know, you'd think this would be the perfect time to try it out, but yeah. I would have really liked a, a Maya to earn it. Not because it's actually particularly that good. Just because it gets rid of the uh, old thing. The beetle. The beetle bungerer. Okay, those count as elites now. When they get voided. Interesting. With some good synergy with the other thing. Stone Flux Pauldron. Double your health, but half your speed. Okay. That's, that's interesting. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. This is basically a, a fantastic engineer item. I say that as the engineer dude. I'm pretty sure I'm the only like YouTuber that's an engineer maid. N main, not maid. No, I'd, I'd be an engineer maid as well, but uh... <laughs> uh insert maid joke here. What is that? Prioritary is when using uncommon 3D printers, once per stage. So, I, I know what this does. It was posted about a bunch. It's, uh... In essence, it's one scrap per stage. For free. I'm <laughs> being re You know, okay, maybe this this item isn't as fantastic as I thought it was. Delicate watch. This was another revealed item. It's pretty good, seemingly. But I don't know the exact numbers. I should have 3D printed some garbage off when I was at the printer, but... Yeah. Also, that's a new elite I just saw. It does something, like heals allies when it dies. I would have liked a bit more scrap. God damn, I'm slow. Yeah, her burden, eat your heart out. This is essentially that, but uh, a million times better and doesn't eat up like 50 items. I'm just going to constantly break Sniper's legs by doing this. I hope I can actually make this jump to get back down. I'm just going to place it like this. That hurt. God damn it, I'm, I'm trying to do some sick tricks. But it's not working, I'm trying to do like the Spelunky jump around thing. Oh, see that shot? It wasn't a headshot so it didn't count. Very... Unimpressive. But yeah, I see the uh, 
this fuel cell ability being really good with like engineer if in fact it does grant you an extra turret it probably won't but faster turret charge will be interesting too that knocks you back okay didn't realize that gotcha you little vermin hey at least i can make up for the uh, slow movement by fast teleport charging clear the void seed is there like a set number of monsters in that thing? How many void monsters are there? I cannot see them wherever they are. Can they like come to me? Okay, primary fire is definitely enough to proc uh, Kiaro's band. I say Kiaro's band, but Runal's band is the same thing. Should be good. Actually, then again, that means you really can't attack with this move unless you want to waste your band proc. Can I get back up onto this? Yeah, that's my beetle guard. Okay, well, I've got its attention now, at least. Maybe it is that... Okay, yeah, you just need to kill all Void Monsters, I guess. I just didn't see all of them, though, because uh, they kind of just... Where are they? Okay, they're multiplying. And then I guess I, guess I can use the things. I, I really need to get used to that. Spoilers, it's never going to happen. Was that, was that thing saying to clear the void seat always there and I just ignored it because there's no reason to ever look up there? That is a possibility. Where are the enemies? There's a beetle. Can I scroll out? Okay, using this to find like where all the enemies are may not be the most useful thing. <sighs> I've got to do it for science. I literally just can't find where all the enemies are. I want to try out this cool new thing, but I can't do anything right. Much like in real life. You know, at least in Risk of Rain 1, it... Actually, no, never mind. In Risk of Rain 1, it did not show you where everything was. Okay, well, I, at least it tells me where the Beetle Guard is. And the Beetle Guard seemingly is, of course, the last one. It makes sense. Okay, now you're going to try and reach me. Vaya Cod Dios. And the shield block locked it. Is it counting as mine? Is there oh okay. <laughs> you know what, I am not fast enough to be doing this, but if I die, it's a learning experience anyway. I mean, I'm most likely going to get my ass kicked by Mithrix, considering I have no speed, and speed is war. Yeah, uh, I cannot see where this last void enemy is. Even with the sniper's, like, special super sight, there's just no enemy sightings. Yeah? It was a bug. A bug that doesn't have a... Okay. Tiny bug that does not have a, a sniper hitbox was the last enemy alive. So there was a single beetle there. Can I really be bothered going over there, though? Probably not. Unless I get some energy drink immediately. That's a Paul's goat hoof. Fine. Just because I force the hand of fate. This is the most annoying mobility item ever. I say that as a Junkrat main. I've been doing this for years. Ugh. Banner, save me. Thanks, Banner. Haven't lost the watch yet, which is good. Can't be bothered to do those. High damage hits also create unstable black holes, which are over time. Corrupts the bands. 
Good to know. Right, just gonna slowly walk over here and print myself off a Mayan urn. Does Mayan urn attack the bugs? I don't know, the bugs have dissipated. Probably gone off to hunt something, I don't know. This is gonna be the longest Risk of Rain 2 video I've ever uploaded. Just because of this stupid double health half speed thing. Okay, so that's what the uh, item looks like. Good to know. Are they going after anything in particular over there? There doesn't seem to be any enemies in that location. Hmm. Oh well. Even before I find out, I haven't actually been recording. You know what, let me give me a minute to check OBS. Yeah, I'm recording. Encoding Overlord, my left test Gop! Yeah, it's beautiful. So this, this red chest, or legendary chest, is going to take a bloody year and a half to get. How much is it? 38.64. That's relatively expensive. Gop. So it just sucks them in, it doesn't do, actually do damage. I don't know what that thing was, but it's uh, gone now. Oh, you have to shoot it in its eyes. That's cruel, even for me. Well, there's two of them now. This is getting out of hand. It didn't kill, really? Mm. Oh, um, okay, I guess it did. Never mind. This is basically, uh... What's the name of the item? Oh, Primordial Cube. Hang on, I'm getting blasted by tornadoes. By mutant bugs from outer space. Get gassed. That's not a Hitler reference. You know, I'm gonna be boring and uh, grind for the uh, chest. Yeah, that counts as an attack. It procs. Uh, my turn. Let's try that again, by the way. Yeah, this isn't the best item for a railgunner. Okay, it actually does explode at the end of its time. Okay, never mind. It is a good item for railgunner. And then again, the bands in general were. I need speed. Red whip, red whip be damned. I do like the uh, icon for the new thing as well. Gop. This, ow! Okay, those things actually have a lot of attack range. Just hip fire that bitch. Also, I'm bloody rich. Jesus, those gups are worth a lot of money. Be something good, please. Okay, pocket ICBM. Uh, I don't have anything that fires missiles, though, do I? So, currently, that does nothing. More hip firing. You know, in the words of a wise man, when your shots can create chasms a mile wide, you don't have to aim too carefully. If anyone gets what that's a quote from, I will uh, gift you five dollars. You just need to uh, give me your credit card number and the three wacky digits on the back. Well, I have all the money in the world now, it's just that I can't move very fast. You know what? I would have liked this item probably a bit more if it was double your income, halve your move speed. Great stun grenade. Does anyone like stun grenade? Wait, hang on, why is the recharge for this band item 15 seconds? God damn it. I've been japed. I've been gypped, stolen from, and quite frankly, bamboozled. Get gupped on. Man, I'm so slow. Ah, This is so annoying. And I can't really cut this out because this is my first run. Like, nobody knows what actually goes on with Railgunner. Okay, well, people will know, but... Not me! 
back up nag. Ah yes, I can double scope. Get another Wungus. Definitely more useful than Bustling Fungus for every character except Engineer. But, as I said, I was named Engineer Main. Whoa, look at that one. Looks like a cool enemy. I'd have uh, lunch with him. This would be good if there were a uh, green printer anywhere. Yeah, I need to uh, get better with that. I need to get better in general. But yeah, having double HP is actually more impactful than you think. Especially when your basic player is like, Oh no, HP is pointless, you die in one hit anyway. No, if you have extra HP, you don't die in one hit. That's the whole bloody point. Also, considering that most healing in this game, or at least the the sole like, actual healing items are percentage-based, then that just increases healing as well. It's a free rejuvenation rack. Yeah, effectively. Okay, not actually, but... You get the point, and if you don't get the point, then just keep going and eventually you'll get the point. Is that an energy drink printer? Okay. One... Oh my god, I already missed my mod that makes you print faster. Printing is so slow, I can't stand it. Okay, thank god for a sticky bomb proccing and killing all the gups. Now watch as I proceed to uh, accidentally print off the sticky bomb. What do I print off the mocha? I don't care. I had a coffee today and it was effectively a mocha. It was a coffee, but the milk was made it with chocolate milk in the fridge. You may ask why I did that. It's because it's a brand of chocolate milk I don't actually like. So I was like, you know what, I might as well get some use out of it. I'll make coffee with it. Okay, there goes my gas. Half of my AoE potential. Can I just grab the energy drink and go? Just get rid of those. Okay, I guess that was a trick shot. That was like the least skillful trick shot in the galaxy though. I think I'm moving at base speed now. Maybe a little faster. Either way, it's acceptable. Doesn't matter considering I'm gonna end the run next stage. I wonder if the uh, green scrap item works with the uh, cauldrons in the Mithrix place. Yeah, whatever, just shock me like an electric eel. I like the, uh, I like the video that goes with that song. Don't like the song itself, though. Oh, I've missed. Tenta bauble. Chance to root enemies on hit. Actually, probably a lot more useful than, uh, chrono bauble. Crobo noble, as I call it. It is absolutely not what it's called, but I call it that anyway because it annoys people. Okay, these, these void things are going over and turning all enemies into servants of Hermaeus Mora. <laughs> I like that fucking... Ah, uh, the sound it just made. Look at it go! I'm gonna grab another ukulele. I know they don't stack well, but if I go and uh, dump a bunch of my green items into the Mithrix printers... I, I want to have plenty of ukuleles so that I don't get rid of all of them. You may think that's a stupid reason, and you're probably right. I should go to the bazaar between time, actually. Alright, try and make this jump. Ah, uh, tried to do a trick shot. Failed miserably. Go. Must draw attention to it every time. That gup animation of the attack reminds me of the uh, spiked mines from Breeze Harbor in Spyro 2. You may think that that's a uh, very obscure reference to make, and I'm like, no, fuck you. <laughs> I'll agree with you on most things, viewer, but not on that. Also, where the hell is the teleporter? I cannot find it. I hate Sundered Grove. Honestly, worst map ever added. Added for the fucking Google Stadia. If, as if that wasn't bad enough on its own. Trick shot. Okay, there, well, there's the, there's the logbook. 
Better to get that now than, uh, want it later. Also, I checked my percentages. It's down to 83 from 100%. So that's a good, uh, gauge at how much content this adds. This does no damage, right? Let's, uh, read it for a second. Yeah, this does no damage. You know what, I guarantee that the teleporter is, like, behind this big rock. Usually I like big rocks, you know, me being the big Onga Bunga man. But, uh, not in this situation. Just kill. I do like, uh, rifles that pierce through all enemies. Talked about Spyro, let me talk about Ratchet and Clank for, like, the next 20 minutes. That would be about half the run, and I... Honestly, don't think this run is going to last that long. I'll be killed at Mithrix before that. Another ukulele. Thus proving my old decision was a bad one. And you know, I, I never actually go in here because there's never anything in here, but... I guess there is now. Oh, yeah, give me the money! Yes! You know, I really don't need money. <laughs> I've got 11 grand in the bank. It's not going to do anything because... This map is awful. Us proving this map is awful is just that it benefits only characters who have vertical mobility. This character has some vertical mobility, but it's... It's hampered by the fact that you can't really control it. Or control it very well. It's not very reliable. Okay, there's the teleporter. It's in the one spot that I never check, because it never spawns there. I guess... Hopu added some new teleporter spots. Either that or I'm stupid, because I'd never pay much attention in this level. Because, uh, why would I? Also, this grenade, uh, mine thing seems really good. Against jellyfish. Physics-based damage. Just hit whatever those things are over there. Explode. Okay, so the big explosion can proc. Sticky bomb, that's good. Play Dune Strider. Let me get out of here as fast as possible, because I hate you. Yeah, that ought to learn you. Oh, my favorite. Okay, literally not my favorite, but I'll just pretend it is. That's the video that made me famous. Actually, no, one-shotting the Heart of Darkness was what made me famous. I'm not even famous. Ow. Well, there goes the watch. Is that a cloak chest? Or is that just a drone or some garbage like that? I can't ping it. What is it? It's a broken missile drone. I don't buy drones. So don't expect me to. Well, at least I'm still the juggernaut. You know, one of the reasons why uh, people say Acrid is bad is it just has no abilities. Well, Acrid has the ba best bases out of any character, aside from Maltese HP. This really sh that really should not cancel Sprint. It's unnecessary. Just don't forget you have the gun. The gun deals alright damage. I, I do not think that it's very reliable, though. Like, the fact you can't control the... like, what it aims at, or what it homes in on, is kind of a negative. Let's go to the Lunar Bazaar. Spend my 281,000 coins that I got through totally legitimate means. I bought it on the, uh, black market between time. Sure, let's go with that. Oh, free squid tart. There's gotta be a, a corrupted squid tart. No, there doesn't. I don't think it's popular enough. I'm not doing void fields or whatever it's called. The stupid thing in the bottom there. I just want to use this to buy all the new items. Get them in the logbook. Oh, it's a domino. I love dominoes. Not really. Uology sign. Items and equipment have a small chance to transform into a lunar item instead. A specific one? 
I'm very tempted by the, uh, thingy. Alright, let me check if this scrap printer works. Um, yes, it does. Okay, good. Then that is actually very good. I wasn't even paying attention to what I lost. I lost, like, another ukulele. I didn't need three anyway. And I don't think anything else really mattered. So let's just ignore that then. Okay, now I'm really tempted. It's okay. Because I have, like, a million coins that I... Once again, got through completely legitimate terms. E Egocentrism. Okay, so Reddit moment. Gain multiple orbiting bombs. Every minute, assimilate another item into egos. Oh, God. I have to go fast, don't I? Otherwise, my entire build is going to become these orbiting bombs. But yeah, I think Wungus is going to be pretty good with... Uh, Corpse Bloom. I just realized that's that's the that's the, the railgunner's head got turned into that. He is unaware. I missed, really. Uh, I guess the hitbox was really small for that. Oh well. I get, I, you know what, getting more charges on this thing is probably pretty pointless considering it recharges pretty fast enough on its own. And I still have to deal with the downside of the rebooting. This is just witness protection from uh, the GTA randomizer. Please, stop not sprinting. Okay, death. Oh, wait, I got this. Ah, that did surprisingly little damage. I should, like, knock them off the cliff or something like that. You know what, I say... I say these regenerate fast enough, but, uh, no. That's not the case. Oh, god damn it! it took my band. Where's the big one? Damn it. Hey, buddy, eat ass. Wait, if you throw a second it... Okay. If you throw a second one of these, it uh, instantly detonates the first one. That's interesting to know. Timing is everything, as I say. And that was not it. Ooh. Hunter's Harpoon. Killing an enemy gives you a burst of movement speed. That's... Okay. Maybe it would be better if I weren't at half speed. Don't know what that is. Some sort of turret. Some sort of death clock. Let's just try and kill this grandparent before it does anything bad to me. It's going to uh, activate its ability, aka the uh, unrivaled power of the sun, now that I've clocked him down too much. Okay, that was... I, I thought that was going to be enough to kill. I didn't need to focus, but... Uh, Oh, okay, never mind, Sticky Bomb killed him. <laughs> Sticky Bomb, the hidden MVP. Hey, Power Elixir. This is one of the items I was very excited to get because it's going to be a very good engineer item. And as we know, I am the engineer dude. Yes, hello. Famous engineer, the real Spartan YT2. How much damage do those bombs even do? I'm not paying attention, but I presume they don't do a great deal. Is that the same dude? Yes. Yes, it is. And that's a fireworks printer. I thought that was something better. Uh, I need to get better at that. Okay, well, there goes my harpoon, which... Yeah, yeah. Better to have not loved at all than to have loved and lost. That's where you don't get used to the power. Yeah, whatever. Hey, look, it's another band. It's gonna get corrupted. Just run out of here. The sound that these bombs make is pretty annoying. I just gotta grab- I just gotta keep grabbing these. It's just HP. It's not like I lose anything. Safer spaces. Block the next source of damage. The next source of damage? 
Does that mean... That all Greater Wisps are going to be blocked forever? No. How did that work then? Yeah, that blocked the, uh, blocked the Greater Wisp again, but I, I, I don't get it. I, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out later when I have time to use my head. Well, there goes the, the elixir. Didn't even notice I was getting low. Can I get a, like, a good use item, please? Uh, yeah, sure, give thing. I don't think I even have anything that works with this. I have ukulele. No, not ukulele. The Will of the Wisp. That's about it. Must hit every shrine of combat, though, to prove I'm not a coward. Whoa, there's a big one. Got him. Look at that money go up. Oh, yes, $8,000. Now, if only I had some chests. It's okay, Spartan. You'll get it right eventually. And when you do, it'll be much better. Kind of wonder how safer spaces works. But like, just can I use it to block Mythrix if I just stay unhit? Okay, well, that's probably taking into account that. Push you off the cliff, you damn turret. Okay, turret is immovable. Invincible. Infallible. It is the infragable Krog. My favorite superhero. Is that a big chest? I think that's the actual first big chest that spawned. I got a red, but it was from a rusty lockbox. What the hell? Why am I going so fast? Oh yeah, that's because of the stupid... Okay, there goes the, uh, the, the double health half speed thing. Blazing Gup. 420. Oh god, stop sprinting once again. That is screwed with me. Healing a lot less now. God damn, I'm eating ass now. These bombs are not that helpful. I would have rather had my original items, thanks. I think I, think I think I got him with that, yeah. Okay, they still split off. <laughs> Get another charge! Okay, that's a, that's a swarm of elites. This is not... It's like, Brainstalks is not a good item for a... Uh, What's-her-name railgunner. She has, like, one ability that even uses it. That'll take out the last of them. That's good. Am I...? I didn't even notice I had a Topaz Brute this whole time. Gotcha. <laughs> it's fine. It feels like I'm getting hit. That's what the sound effects are, like, cluing me into, but... I'm not actually getting hit. It's just the bomb spawning. It's freaking me out. It's causing me to go into panic mode. Just keep sprinting, keep sprinting, and keep healing. How much damage do these bombs even do? Uh, 207. I'm going to get a lot of these things. I bet that, like, within a week's time, there's going to be someone who posts, Well, I found a lot of- I'm sure I found a lot of these items. Oh, you are tied to the ceiling, you cheeky little prick. All right, let's go. Final stage. Did it eat my rusted key, or can I get another rusted lockbox? No, it has not eaten my key yet. It most likely will. Just tippy tap. So what does the ukulele do? Uh, chance to repeatedly strike a single enemy with lightning. Yeah, chance. As in, not a specific amount. Well, I don't think I can skip the pillars with uh, this character. Maybe if I had an eccentric vase. 
or if I had kept the old volcanic egg. I just know my will-o'-the-wisp is going to be eaten, and therefore this item will be completely wasted. Didn't find any printers on that last stage either, which is a bit of a shame. This regenerating scrap could be very powerful. Where did my regenerating scrap go? Okay, I, I lost one of them. And there goes a crowbar. There goes like 30% of my damage output. I'm trying to just ignore the enemies while I skedaddle skadoodle to the pillars, but that's probably not going to work. I don't have the big, big ass amount of HP as I did before. Also, these are perfected enemies, so they're going to recharge their health anyway. So that's a 20 second cooldown. I really should have looked at how many pillars there were. But I got two bloods, so I, I guess I can't be that angry. Damn, kind of getting slow at that Mithrix thing. It's okay. The uh, repulsion armor plates will protect us. I really should have printed more of those off when I had the chance. That would have uh, greatly helped me here. I know I only did one blood. Tr oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just prevent the prevent that dude from healing for a bit, please. There you go. That should save me a, a lot of headaches. A sniper is not meant to be using Wungus, I'm guessing. Why do I call it Wungus? Uh, good point. It is because it is. It's not Bungus. It's Weeping Fungus, so it's Wungus. I need more health. Please, heal me, medkit. I'm going to die. I have died. What did I die to? I wasn't even paying attention. Well. I guess that was a good first run. Ended by a Lunar Chimera. Well, before we go away, I will uh, take a look at exactly the stats of these. Okay, 7.5 and 7... Interesting. This does 20% damage, 25% health breaks it. Okay. Uh, not bad, I'll read the law later. Okay, it's 3 gold on uh, taking damage from an enemy. Scales over time, obviously. That's not bad, considering that, uh, I think there's a certain amount that Gore's Tome gives you. I think it's like, yeah, 25. So, it is more than one tenth. I'd say it's like 7.5 or 8. Uh, yeah, I, we all know what this does. Consumable, so it stacks. Increase armor by 100 when out of danger. Pretty good. Hunter's Harpoon. Fading over one second. Eh, that seems not that good, really. Already said, this is actually pretty good. Uh, pocket ICBM, that would have been useful. If... I had anything that used missiles, but I didn't. I got no ATGs, so that was essentially a dead item that I wasted a bunch of time for. Blocks incoming damage once. Charges after 15 seconds. Corrupts all tougher times. Um, so it didn't block all from one source. It's just blocking something over time. Wait a second, is that a reference... Oh my god, it's a reference to that superhero comic. You know the one. It's it's basically this. It's a guy who had a bunch of babies tied to himself. As armor. That is fantastic. Wungus. 2%. That's so uh, weaker than Bustling Fungus, isn't it? Bustling Fungus is like... 4.5, isn't it? And then 2 per stack. Yeah. Slightly weaker. More consistent, though. Yep, 25% chance... Bands. Draws enemies in. Last 5 seconds before collapsing, dealing 100% total damage. Total damage is fine, but I think that the original bands were a bit better. The drawing in is pretty good. That's self-explanatory. 5% chance to root enemies for a second. Might not be terrible. This one, I, I like this one. Nice little uh, trade-off. This is what Lunar Items should be. 
Straight up positive, but the negative is pretty bad. Alright, every 3 minus 50 per stack seconds gain an orbiting bomb that detonates on impact for 360% damage up to a maximum of 3 plus 1 per stack bombs. Every 60 seconds a random item is converted into this item. Wonderful. There's probably some cool lore in there too. Items have a 5% chance to t become a lunar item instead. But why though? I mean, you can't do an entire build with lunar items. Actually, maybe you can with enough shaped glass and uh, stone flux pauldron. Seems like a very bad idea. Did I miss anything? Oh no, that was just enemies. Never mind. Lava. 45 HP. 11 damage. Speed. It's got a l nice little face. It's interesting. Well, I'm going to do some more off camera, obviously, and I'll come back and do another video once I have unlocked Purple Commando. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Goodbye.